So I just listened to Davey Havoc talk about the time that he started a riot in Toronto in 1996 on the podcast Turned Out a Punk, hosted by Damian Abraham. Hey, how's it going? I'm your friendly neighborhood gatekeeper, Dan Frampton. How's about you leave a like on this video before we get going? And did you know that only 65.3% of you are subscribed here? That's ridiculous. I hate that. Change this. Okay, now on to some context. Who's Davey Havoc? Well, he's the lead singer of AFI, and they were touring this record called Very Proud of You back in 1996, okay? And also, I gotta tell you who this Damien Abraham guy is. He's hosting this podcast called Turned Out a Punk, which is the interview that I just listened to, where Davey Havoc went into great detail about this riot that he started. But more famously, he is the front man for the hardcore band up. So back in 1996, AFI gets caught up at the border between the United States and Canada, but they finally get in and they make their way to the Opera House where they're going to have a little bit of a show. Now, they're not really that famous yet. They're kind of worried that the, that the fans won't know who they are, but the fans are going pretty crazy as soon as they start playing. But the bouncers, the bouncers are the ones that are causing the trouble. Davey sees this bouncer just like shaking kids around, okay? And then Davey's like, okay, stop playing, band. Hey, bouncer guy, stop shaking that kid. He's just a little skinny punk kid and you're a big beefy security guard. Stop shaking the kid. Okay, let's keep playing. Then they keep playing. Then he notices that the security guard and other security guards are being abusive towards the skinny punks. Just taking any opportunity opportunity uh, to like take advantage of them. They're like, oh, that's slam dancing. I hate slam dancing. That's assault. No, you got to stop doing that. Shake, shake, shake. So, you know, Davey Havoc is like, let him go. Let him go. Stop doing it. And instead of letting go and instead of stop doing it, the security guard punches, okay? Absolutely punches this punk kid. And then Davey Havoc is not having any more of that, okay? He gets down in front of the security guard and he goes, stop, stop, stop. Everybody listen. Did you know that this security guard just hit one of you? And that's not it. He says, get him to a whole bunch of rowdy punks. And those rowdy punks certainly do get him. Everybody starts going crazy, attacking the security guards. Security guards flying left, right, and center. You know what? They all end up evacuating the building. They're like, oh, this is too scary. The house lights go on. They lock the doors. Okay, they're like, AFI, you're not getting out of here. There's a riot that you just caused. Everyone just went crazy, okay? There's so much damage here. The promoters might have been pissed, but the sound guy, the sound guy was with AFI, okay? So they just, they just kept on playing. Lights were on. Kids were going crazy. It was just a wild ass time. Anyway, after the show, Davey's like, okay, I gotta go to the green room, gotta get myself a water. And you know who's there? Security guards. Of course, the security guard that he told to, like, be gotten or whatever, throws him to the couch, starts threatening his life. But the only reason why the security guards aren't getting physical or actually violent right now is because the promoters are like, no, we can't be violent right now. But before we get to this point, I do gotta mention, when the crowd was going crazy during the show, Davey did apologize for his actions. He did try to calm everybody down. He knew that he was in the wrong. He knew that he shouldn't have said get him to a whole bunch of kids to get the security guards. He knew that that was crazy. The drummer even came up and was like, hey Davey, do you want to be responsible for people's deaths? And Davey was like, no, of course not. That sounds awful. You're right. Of course you're right. So then he calms down and he gets on the microphone. He's like, hey kids, you got to stop going crazy right now. Let's bring it down. Let's just have a good rock and roll time. Okay, so now we're back after the show, okay? And now they're like packing up as you do after a show. And as they're loading out, Davey Havoc is approached by a 17 year old snot nosed pimply faced kid who's like, hey guys, like that was a great set or whatever, but I overheard the security guards and um, they're not done with you. <laughs> they're calling friends and they're trying to get more people to kill you. You're not gonna make it out of this city alive. You gotta come to my mom's basement where everything's gonna be safe. Don't worry about that. Everything's gonna be good. And you know who that 17 year old pimply faced snot faced kid was? That was Damien Abraham. What a full circle moment that this was. This is a crazy ass story. But this just shows that Damien Abraham, even back then as a teenager, he knew the importance of networking around the scene and trying to make the right friends at the right places and doing the right things at the right time for the right people. And he got his foot in the door really, really early. So that's why I think that Damien Abraham is kind of like a punk rock legend. And I had no idea that he had such close ties 
to this story. But anyway, that's the story about the time that Davy Havoc caused a riot and how Damien Abraham was connected to it all those years ago. If you liked this video, you might like another video I made about the death of AFI.